The internet is ruthlessly attacking the Backpack Kid once again, and this time it's pretty bad. After he blew up for dancing with Katy Perry on SNL and flexing his diamond neck at Icebox, well, this is him now. Clearly, he's no longer a kid, but he's still landing himself in trouble. What you been doing since that dance? Russell Horning, aka the Floss Kid, is now 22. Apart from making six figures and supposedly ending racism, he's also a social media influencer with over 4 million followers. And he's had quite a controversial past, from being accused of stealing the Floss Dance and claiming it as his own, to attacking goats with BB guns. He even tried to sue Epic Games. He's a unique guy, but despite the years and the popularity, not much has changed, because he's still going viral for obnoxious videos. But it gets even worse, because he's in the spotlight again, this time not just for his moves, but also for his music. <laughs> This isn't real, right? He's out here creating some pretty questionable beats. So what beef does he have with the creators of Fortnite? And why is the internet suddenly clowning on him so much? Let's dive in. The Backpack Kid is going viral all over again. That's right. He's trying to make it big in the music world. And people think his way of doing it is to draw attention to his terrible beats. Although he's also had some big hits like Flossin. Recently, his music has had a surprising shift toward religion. By being a youth leader at a church now? He now wants to promote his Christian values. All God really wants from us is to share the same love and kindness that he has for us. So, why do you sue Fortnite? Basically what happened is Fortnite put my dance into their game and made millions of dollars off of it and gave me zero dollars. But to be clear, he wasn't the one who filed the lawsuit. Sadly, the court ruled against him because his dance was never actually copyrighted. No trademark, no case. And that was that. Yet no matter how good he does, he just can't avoid the backlash. In a recent video doing rounds, the backpack kid was seen doing his signature floss dance at high school. School. But what happened next made us feel really bad for him, because he was trolled hard. What's even sadder is that the dance was part of his mental health awareness tours. This poor guy really doesn't deserve the hate he receives. And this isn't the first time. I've been getting hate on social media since the first day I started when I was 14. He came under the spotlight when he was still very young, and that wasn't easy. Not only did he deal with massive amounts of backlash. He has zero emotion, you know? It also became increasingly hard for him to lead a normal life. But the good thing is, he stayed strong. I have way too much love to give that the world needs. I'd be selfish to just hold all that. And now that he's older, he's doing a lot to make the world a better place. From arranging fundraisers for cancer survivors to preaching God's word. Why is faith so important? No matter what people have to say about him, he doesn't plan on going anywhere. If I let the haters get to me and I quit, they win. First you spread your legs, then you put your arms out and go left yeah. to right. Okay, little twin turn up. Yeah. Let's pick up this paper. Then put down the guns.